recording uh, showcasing the beta for uh, AdPicto. We may change the name, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so when you click on the link, you should come to this page, uh, which allows you to sign in using your LinkedIn account. So you'll click that, at which point you'll be asked to sign in, uh, sign in with your uh, LinkedIn credentials. Uh, after doing so, it will take you to this page, which allows you to uh, uh, link your MailChimp account. Uh, so again, uh, currently, uh, this will only work with MailChimp. Uh, so you click on the uh, link MailChimp account. It'll ask you to sign in. You log in. It'll ask you to uh, authorize. Uh, and this is needed so that we can write data into your MailChimp account. Click Allow. Great. Now you're ready to create some links. Uh, so the first thing you got to do is enter a web address. I'm going to use Google. So HTTPS uh, backslash www.google.com. You'll notice that I had to uh, enter in HTTPS. Uh, and the reason why you have to exclusively enter that in is because um, we do not know if it's going to be HTTPS or HTTP. And we can't auto uh, enter that in because uh, depending on, on the if it has an S or not, there's different protocols and that could cause issues and therefore uh, we require you to actually uh, enter in the full URL. Once you have done so, then comes step two. Step two is uh, you can then decide on what kind of data that you want to add. May that be merge tags, groups, or tags. So we're gonna do a, uh, be doing all three. Uh, so I'm gonna start with merge tags. Uh, under the merge tag, you have to enter in a, a, a field label. Uh, for the field label, let's add, uh, I don't know, uh, favorite fruit okay and for that we want to have text and so the merge tag uh, so one thing to note about the merge tag uh, the maximum character count uh, for merge tag is 10 characters so as you can see you can say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then after that no more so you have a character limit of 10 characters and again this is set by MailChimp uh, one thing other to note is that uh, I know in MailChimp, you, the way you would uh, format a merge tag is by having the asterisk and then the dash. Well, you don't need to do that here. You could just type in whatever you want. So I'm going to say fruit. And it will auto create that for you um, on your MailChimp account. Uh, and just to show you that, I'm going to go over to MailChimp right now. And I am going to go to all contacts, go to settings, and go to audience fields and merge tag. And you'll see that I only have email and uh, first name. I'm also going to go to groups and you'll see that I have no groups and then I'm also going to go to tags and you'll see that the two tags I have is test user and you uh, and that's all I have uh, and just take note of that uh, in a little bit great so I've now got uh, favorite fruit text fruits and I'm going to add uh, the value as apple I'm going to create that and now I've created a URL the way you use this URL is copy that URL. I'm going to go over to MailChimp. I'm going to create a new email. And uh, that's fine. That's fine. Let's add this the subject as uh, add picto beta. And the current date is September 1st, 2023. Great. Uh, send time. I'm going to set that to now. Save. And now let's get to designing. Great. I'm just going to delete all of this stuff for now because that's unnecessary. And I'm just going to focus on this. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do a quick styling of text to format to the left. Perfect. All right. So again, this is uh, beta. And this is uh, September 1st, 2023. Great. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, groups. And what did we say? Uh, da, 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 da. So it's a uh, field label. It goes favorite fruit. Oops. Fruit. And what else? Uh, field type is text. And let's say the merge tag. Oh, yeah. This is not groups, this is merge tag. It is fruit. And this is the value is apple, correct? Yep, apple. And I'm just gonna highlight this 
and make this into a link. And this is where you paste in uh, the URL, uh, this URL you just copied. And save. There you go. I'm also going to add another value called banana. Okay. And the way I do that is just add, change this to banana, create a URL, and then I copy that and I go back and then I can just uh, link this and paste and voila. All right. Next is groups. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Sorry. This is a uh, merge tags for uh, text. And I'm going to create the same thing except for numbers. Okay. And so for the label, let's say uh, household. And we want to change this to numbers. And let's have this to household. Household. Yeah, household. And I'm going to enter in five. Create. Copy URL. Uh, so we said this was household. We said this was numbers. And household. And the value is five. And then I'm going to highlight that, make that into a link, paste that in, and voila. So, uh, and then the other thing is, is that uh, you have the number five. I'm also going to write in the, the text five just to show you what happens. You'll see that it needs to be a number. So, uh, uh, essentially, if you've changed this to numbers, you must have a number like 10. So, if you try to enter in anything uh, other than a number, it will give you an error. Make sense? Okay, I'm going to copy this. Uh, because who has 10 people in your household? Well, maybe someone does. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to click on the link and then paste and voila. Now we can move on to groups. Okay, I'm going to then change this drop down to groups, at which point it's going to ask you to enter a group name and then a subgroup. So for the group, let's do movies. Oops, movies with a V, not with a B. And then you have the option here for actions of adding a subgroup or removing a subgroup. So I'm going to say action, copy that, uh, or create that URL. I'm going to copy that. Uh, so the group is movies with the S, yes, uh, yes. And then uh, it's going to be add action. I'm going to highlight that, create the link. Paste that in. Uh, yep. And then I'm going to say comedy. Create the link. Copy that. Okay. And let's add that in as well. And the other thing to note is that it also supports spaces. So action comedy, for example. So now I'm going to enter action comedy. Great. Copy that URL, and then I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to enter that here. And I mentioned that you could actually remove. So I'm going to remove action. So I just switched this from add to remove, and we said action, copy. And let's go back here and highlight that and paste that in. So I'm also going to remove horror. Uh, I'm going to add here, horror, create the data URL, copy, and go over here, highlight that, and link. Great. So you'll notice that I've added action, I've added comedy, I've added action comedy, but I have not added horror. So uh, what happens when uh, a subgroup does not exist? Uh, and this is specifically for remove. Uh, in the instance of add, uh, it will auto-create that subgroup for you. 
Uh, but what happens when you try to remove a subgroup that does not exist? And then finally, we have tags. Again, I'm going to select uh, tags. Uh, again, you have the action of adding a tag or removing a tag. Uh, for the tags, let's add, uh, I don't know, US, create a tag, copy that. And so for tags, I'm going to say add US. Right. And again, create the link, paste that in. Let's add Mexico. Okay. And then copy that. Paste that in. And then uh, finally, I'm going to remove US and remove Canada. Okay, so I'm going to change this to add tag to remove tag. I add US, create the data URL, copy that, and then paste it in. Paste. And then finally, I'm going to create one for Canada. Create the URL, copy that, and then paste that in here. So in this example, uh, it's very much the same as here, where we're essentially uh, doing this to show what happens when a tag uh, does not exist. Pull that out. And now we are ready to show you the results of all of this work. All right, I'm going to save this out. And I am going to send. So one thing to note is that when you try to do a send a test email, uh, none of these links will actually work, meaning that they will not capture the data and write to uh, to the contact. Uh, you have to send the email for in order for that to work. Uh, why is that? It's because uh, MailChimp's API uh, has said so. So there's nothing that we can do about it. Uh, it's something that MailChimp controls. All right, the email was sent. I am now going to go back to contacts uh, just to show you what all of these will happen. So I'm going to go back to here in one of my email addresses that uh, was sent the email. And we just have to wait for the email to show up. Make sure it's not in spam. Come on, where are you? Uh, here we go. Great. So now this is the email that I just sent myself. Uh, the first thing uh, we're going to do is look at the merge tags. So again, I created uh, apples. So what this is going to do, it's, it's actually gonna create a merge tag uh, and, and add apple as the value. So when I click on this, it's gonna take me to Google because that's where we stated that we wanted to go. Uh, and you can, again, uh, enter in whatever URL you want. And that's where uh, the contact, when they click on the link, that's where they will be taken to. Uh, so again, let's see, uh, we should have created a merge tag that's a uh, 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 field type text with the merge tag of fruit, and then we should have added apple. So I'm gonna go over here. Uh, let's see, go to merge tag. And there's favorite fruit with the uh, 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 merge of fruit. Perfect. Now we go back to all contacts and we should then click on the toggle. There's the favorite fruit. I'm gonna turn that on. And you can see that uh, contact at adpicta.com clicked on Apple. All right, so what happens if I click on banana? Again, it takes uh, uh, me to google.com because that is where um, it was sent to. Oh, we have an error. That's fun. So again, this is a beta. Uh, we will have to look into that, but let's see what happens over on MailChimp side. It changed it to banana. So yeah, I'm not really sure why this happened. We will look into that, uh, but as you can see, it did capture the data. Um, and then for uh, creating the numbers, I'm gonna click on five. Okay. And then if I were to then come here, uh, 
uh, I'm going to go back to actually all I need to do is refresh and that should have created a yep household turn that on and it should show five click on 10 and then if I refresh it should then change to 10 there it is 10 all right, so that's how groups work. Uh, I'm sorry, that's how uh, merge tags work. Now we're gonna switch over to groups. So again, uh, what uh, add uh, action will do is it will create a group called movies and then create a subgroup called actions and then add action uh, uh, to that contact. And just to kind of show you that, I'm gonna click on groups just to show you that there are no groups currently. I'm gonna click on action. Right, and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to refresh. Actions was created or movies was created. And if I view groups, you can see that action was added. More importantly, when I click on all contacts, uh, you can see that for contact, uh, the movie action was added. Uh, now, again, if I were to click on comedy, and I'm gonna click on uh, action comedy. What that does is I'm now gonna refresh is it actually adds or appends these additional uh, uh, subgroups to that contact. So you can see now action comedy and action comedy. When I click on remove action, we go back and again, I need to refresh to show the changes. action is now removed from the movies uh, group. Now, what happens when uh, I try to remove horror, but uh, the subgroup horror does not exist? Well, currently uh, it does not work. It will give you an error. Uh, so this is something that we will be fixing uh, by the next release, uh, but just give, wanted to give you guys a heads up of that. Now let's go to tags. Uh, so again, I'm gonna just go back over here and go to tags just to show you that, uh, that there's two tags currently, uh, test users and new. Uh, so I'm now gonna click on add US. Okay, if I now go back and if I refresh this, you'll see now US has been added. More importantly, if I go to contacts, it should show tags US is now added. Uh, if I click on Mexico and then refresh, Mexico gets added. And again, if I click to remove US, it will show, again, I need to refresh, show that uh, US has been removed right there. Great. Now, finally, what happens if I try to remove Canada and Canada does not exist as a tag? If I click on that, it will do the correct thing and just take the users to the, the uh, URL that you specified. Uh, so this is the behavior that we're going to add to uh, the removing of a subgroup that does not exist. And then over on MailChimp, uh, nothing happens because there was no tag to remove. And there you go. So that is uh, the current uh, MVP uh, or the beta one. Uh, we're going to be making improvements to this. Uh, some of the improvements, as we mentioned before, some of the bugs and so forth, uh, we'll be constantly improving this. Uh, please check it out and uh, uh, give us your feedback on what you guys think of it. All right, that's it. Thank you so much.